Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Hit the button, baby. When black holes collide, baby. Everyone who dicks wants to talk about planets. That's the real science term for detectives. It's dicks. Batman and Sherlock Holmes were dicks. And when planets kill each other, there's going to be cussing. You've been warned, but whatever. That's okay. Yeah, it's real good, okay. Okay, it is Thor, Sage, we're here to talk to you about false accusations that have been made against Jupiter. People are saying that he's a bully and that he's harmed other students. And when I say students, I mean planets. And he kicked him off the kindergarten. When I say kindergarten, I mean solar system. Can you explain what the fuck I'm talking about? Yeah, there's like this hypothetical fifth giant planet and... I hope you're not talking about Nibiru. I'm so sick of that subject. Please don't talk about it. No, it's not. It's not Nibiru. What am I doing? I was doing something. Oh. Pay attention now. Be serious. Jupiter bully. It's a news. Choose your own adventure. Jupiter bully. These are like the articles that kind of try to say something, but then they never really say anything. Jupiter may be to blame for the fate of our solar system's missing planet. What is that? What does that even mean? Jupiter may be to blame for the fate of our solar system's missing planet. How do they know? How do they know there's a planet missing? Are they going to say like, oh yeah, they're behind some uh, carbon ice that we can we can uh, scrape it up and see, oh my god, there used to be a planet here. We can tell by the dust and the gas that was left behind or the stamp that's left on the dark matter in the area. You know, so yeah, we know there should at least be three other planets in the solar system. Okay, yeah, like how do they know there's a missing planet? It's not like kids, like, oh yeah, like the sun's got a plaque with like all the kids' names on it and they're like, holy shit. Like a family tree, you mean? Yeah, so we know how many... Planets were originally in our solar system. So how do we know that there's one missing? I have several answers for you. Great. Then you should probably hold the microphone. I'm laying down. I'm trying to be lazy. Ah, okay. So Jupiter may be to blame for the fate of our solar system's missing planet. The planet, which would have been our solar system's fifth giant, had a bumpy ride on its way out, scientists say. Scientists say a lot of shit, and then they get their paycheck and they go cash it. That's, I just want to point that out. Okay. Great. They just slandered Jupiter, man. Like, they ain't got no proof, I don't think. Well, okay, I mean, haven't you seen? It's like everybody with the black cube, black cube, you know? What? So you they just... gotta make Jupiter look bad. Cause Wait, Jupiter... are you saying that Saturn framed Jupiter? That makes shit. So sick of Saturn. I think Saturn's really, like, not that bad. Of... Saturn used to be the sun. Well, Saturn used to be cool. Saturn represents justice. And justice got perverted, and it became more about punishment instead of justice. And so, side like Jupiter needs to bitch slap Saturn and give him a come to Jesus moment, hypothetically, metaphorically. Wait, Saturn needs to do what? Jupiter, Jupiter needs, needs to, to bitch, bitch slap, slap Saturn. Saturn into a come to Jesus moment, hypothetically, metaphorically, so that the two can get along and the whole solar system can be in peace. Like you said, if it's justice, right? Because I don't really know. I know it's justice and time, and it's very rigid. You know? Justice and time are very rigid. Yeah, but t first of all, time doesn't exist. Okay, like we made these things with numbers on them, and then just said like, "Yeah, go." This is how it works. Like some cultures, they don't even have a word for time. You just don't want to talk about the article. Why am I talking about Saturday? Oh, because, yeah, watching. but then they're trying to make Jupiter look bad, and you get all upset when I'm yeah, saying... Yeah, because then you were like, saying that Saturn framed Jupiter for this shit. No, nah, I was just saying people are exploiting Saturn's energy, and uh, then now I was making now up they're... stories, because you said make up stories, because you said scientists said make up stories. Wait. Scientists make up stories, man. They oh, say a lot of on. shit. And that's how we met. Yeah. On a scientists make up a lot of stories uh, newspaper. We were staff writers. Yeah, I mean... We were making up shit. Yeah, but it, it, for the good of science. This was written in November, I believe. Seventh, we're way behind, by Jacqueline Howard. Scientists have long suspected that the penis and the vagina are the exact same thing. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I read that wrong. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Scientists have long suspected that our solar system was once home to a mysterious planet similar to the four giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. But something happened about four billion years ago that caused the planet to disappear. Maybe they just made fun of him a lot. Maybe they treated him bad. Planets have emotions. 
just like people and dogs and smartphones. I've definitely heard Siri get bitchy. <gasps> I'm sorry, Siri. Yeah, well, I mean, she's technically a woman, right? I mean, she people asking her to do shit. She's as much oh, of a woman as Bruce Jenner. Oh, oh no! No! no. no. I would like to apologize to America day. and um, all the people at the Huffington Post and everyone on reality television and everyone <laughs> at Disney and everyone at ESPN. You know. Is kicking a planet out of the solar system considered killing? You kill them, no, but you're going to make them very unhappy. I don't think so. This is what I don't get. Like, you're saying, like, how'd they know there was a planet? I want to know how'd they know there was a planet that was a giant, like Neptune, but instead of water, it was ice. Yeah, how'd they know there was a planet? Like, how did they know what type of planet it was? Like, uh, it's, it's roadkill now, and the roadkill is supposedly the asteroid belt. So, it was whatever planet all the asteroids are made up of. Oh, that's what they're saying? Well, we I don't read the article. Oh, yeah, we know, yeah. We're just totally going off. We're speculating, speculating off, yeah, we're judging a book by its title. Wait, we're judging a internet HuffPost article by its title. How foolish can we be? We're not just judging it. We're like writing a whole story around it. We've written a whole entire story around this title. Well, you know, it's what scientists have been doing since the 70s. Just making up writing stories. Hey, believe this. Boom. Big bang. Dark matter. Ding dongs. The moon's too expensive. <laughs> Their story is terrible. They need new writers because there's like, you know, when you read a book and there's like holes in the story and you're like, well, if this happened, then how could this be happening? And their story is so effed up now. It's like, what? All of a sudden, I don't know why, like this story came out with Jupiter kicking this planet out. And then in the last couple of days, there was an article about the planet Vulcan that used to orbit the sun closer than Mercury, right? That's the theory. There used to be a planet that did that. Also, they have an equation that kind of the way it works out is uh, like you have to check the math. But I think it's odd that they're talking about that they're definitely somehow somewhere was another planet here. So they're either talking about it got kicked out or got burned up. You know, we're not explaining the asteroid belt at all. Well, no. And that was the next thing I'm going on to is there's an equation that you I think you like double the distance. New Jersey. For, every planet New Jersey or something like that and then they know where the next planet will be so like mercury is a you know you got mercury and then venus is a certain one three five seven exactly nine, something like that. yeah that's the weird thing that i don't get it's like they know there was a planet in but that then, orbit and now it's the asteroid belt and they're trying to pretend like it's just fucking rocks out of nowhere floating around in space and it's like dude something exploded there I just look at it it looks like something exploded i've heard people say Granted, those people were YouTubers, that it was Tiamat. Sure, yeah. Tiamat. Mm -hmm. And then I think, you know, some people were thinking Mars may have been one of its moons. Mars is a jerk. No, I mean, I think just Mars was in the, like, wrong place at the wrong time. All right, you're right. It's not really the planet's fault, man. Yeah. Are we Earth's fault? You know what I mean? Like, is Earth, like, an asshole because of what's happening here? No. Touche, woman! Okay. All right. Okay, so you teach me that, um... Jupiter did it. No, nah, I don't know why they think this one was. I can't remember. We read this article. I think this douche bucket spied Jupiter in the inner solar system with a Roche limit. That was a clue joke. <laughs> you know what? I think because Jupiter's moons, some of the orbits are messed up. So, like, they thought it was either Jupiter or Saturn that kicked this thing out. But, like, Saturn couldn't have done it because... His moons are like all orbiting the way they're supposed to, according to them. This planet that Jupiter kicked out wasn't a moon. It was big, like Neptune or Uranus size. Okay, you said Mercury's a moon, and then I heard people That's... say Pluto was a moon, and then I say... No, I say Mercury's the sun's moon. And I think it was Venus's moon. Yeah, and yeah. then Ceres seemed like Tiamat's moon. Yeah. Death. Or one Most or death like um, and Vesta. Or either like a Mars moon. You know what I'm saying? Like Some have said that Mars is even a moon. I'm like, no, Mars is not a moon. No, I, th I think Mars is a moon of Tiamat. And it had another moon. That's how it got tidally locked and fucking Tiamat exploded. It okay, first of all, if I don't leave the house, is sleep deprivation a legal buzz? Because sometimes it's really good. And we're not going anywhere. So you could be all sleep deprived and focus. Stay on target. Oh. All right, we're on like the second sentence because we rock. 
Okay, great. We're doing much better than last time. Last time we... No, yeah, okay, we're way behind. But something happened four billion... So, like, nothing happened. You know, like, everything happened four billion years ago. And nothing happened, like, through that period in the solar system. That's kind of weird. Yeah, like, everything happened four billion years ago. Like, what's... I want to know, like, what's happening today? Like, why why do they just want to tell us what happened four billion years ago? Or what's going to happen two billion years from now? Why can't we know... Like, what's going on today? I don't get it. Well, in the, back in the day, we used to have newspaper. Back in the day, we used to have newspapers that would inform you what's happening today. But Sirius Skynet, as it pointed out, killed the newspaper and substituted them with the Huffington Post. <laughs> A really horrible, horrible trade-off. Uh, we, we're going to pull this out of the crapper? Gutter? Yeah, you say things like it's in the gutter and then, like... Now, a team of astrophysicists in Toronto have made significant steps toward solving the mystery. But I'm just thinking, how do you solve a crime that happened four billion years ago? I'd want to know what's happening now. Like, who got stuck on the four billion year team of figuring out that shit? I want to be on the team that's like, right now, what's happening right now? Maybe Jupiter's about to throw somebody else out of the solar system like it was Survivor, the reality TV show. You ever think of that? And that's why they're bringing it up now, and that's why it is important. Well, they already, remember, you did the article on the moon. Earth's trying to throw the moon out. That's what they're saying. Or the moon's like, hey, I'm out of here. I've had it with you. As above, so below. And as humans try and kick each other off the planet, maybe the planets are trying to kick each other off the humans? That's deep. That's some deep shit. Yeah, it's really, really deep. And female dogs are bitches. Okay, bitches. Yay, bitches. Yeah, bitches. Oh, planets, bitches. Focus. Stay on target. So weird. I mean, it's so weird. How'd I get this lucky? Well, according to new research published in the latest issue of the Astronomical Journal, a collision with Jupiter resulted in the ancient planet being ejected from our solar system. Did it have a name? Wait. How do you have a collision with a gas giant? What are you bumping into? That, that is an excellent um, question. I do believe that's where the term bumping uglies came from. Okay, it's not. And I'm saying, wouldn't Jupiter have absorbed it? And how big was this planet? Can we give it a name? I feel weird not naming something. It died. It didn't die. It moved. Jupiter kicked it out. Like, you're old enough now. Get out. No, 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 it wasn't that simple. And hey, Jupiter didn't do it. Like, we haven't heard a shred of evidence from these dudes. They've just been like, talking about like, oh my God, we're Canadian the whole time. We've been here for like 30 minutes and all we know is they're Canadian. What type of scientists are these guys? They suck. I can't say what I want to say the way I want to say it, so forget it. I don't know. They sat around and made up a story. Light cannot escape from black holes. There's water on Mars. Light can escape from black holes. And there's still water on Mars. And then there's Martian women. Who I don't even look at. And I definitely don't look at their butts. Wait, so can I get picky on the word choice for a moment? Yeah. Is kicking a planet out of the peas. Hey, believe this. Boom, big bang, dark matter, ding-dongs. The moon's too expansive. 